Hey what is up guys, this is a YouTube video showing you how Dirty House Music is actually made. Um, now this is a software called FL Studio. Um, a lot of celebrities use this such as Avicii, Skrillex, Tiesto, Afrojack, Kane West and so on. Um, as you can see this is a piano roll. On the side is the piano. And these green notes here are the, well, the notes, <laughs> which is the actual tune of the melody, or better known as the Dirty Dutch or Dirty Electro lead. Um, so this is what I've made so far. <laughs> um, now there's several ways to create Dirty Dutch and Dirty Electro uh, music in FL Studio. Um, this is one of the ways. What I have done. Hang on. Whoops. No, where are you? Here we go. Um, I have used this plugin, which is usually used to make Dirty Dutch and an Electro. Um, so what I've done, I've just tweaked it around a bit. I've tweaked this part around a bit. And that is pretty much it, and that so far, without any other tweaking or haven't added any sound effect, um, this is what it sounds like. Um, so as you heard, or possibly heard, in the background I did have a, a few beats. Um, obviously you can't hear it that well, so I'll be tweaking that in just a sec. Um, I don't think I'll like this start. Maybe I'll just change it a bit. Hmm, how am I going to do this? <laughs> Okay, that will do. <laughs> so, as you can see, these notes, three of them have a little triangle in the corner. This one here, this one, and this one. What they are, they make the notes a little more slidey. So, I can place the triangle notes right under any note I want. So I've placed this triangle note under this note right here, which is the very first note of the track. And I've placed another one under this note here, and another one under this note. Or oh, on top of it, actually, sorry. <laughs> so under, on top, on top. Um, so yeah, that does make it a little more slidey, which is usually used in Dirty Dutch, Dirty Electro, and sometimes other uh, genres of music. Um, so I'm going to get into the tweaking and sound effects. Uh, actually no, before I do that, I'm going to be... Actually no, I've already done this. <laughs> so, so far, uh, the beats I am using, or the instruments, whatever, um, I'm using a kick, a Dirty Dutch kit, um, a kick from a kit, a Dirty Dutch kit, and a hat, which is a shaker type sound. Um... <laughs> So you can't hear it all so well, so I'll be tweaking it right now. Before I do that, I'm going to be adding everything to the mixer. So I'm going to align the, the lead to the mixer. So this here is the actual mixer, where you add all the sound effects and whatever, tweaking. Next I'm going to be adding the kick to the mixer. And I don't really need to add the shaker to the mixer, but what I can do is turn the volume down just a bit. Just so the kick uh, stands out a little more. 
Alright, so back to the mixer. What I'm gonna do um so usually songs uh well yeah songs, remixes, tracks, whatever. Not all of them, but probably more than half of them um are sidechained. If you don't know what sidechained is, I'm gonna show you right now. Um, it's really hard to explain what it is, so I'm just going to show you. So what I'm going to do, go to the kick. I'm going to be adding a plugin called uh, Peak Control to the kick. I'm going to go back to the uh, lead, the Dirty Dutch lead. Whoops. Just, uh, tweaking it a bit. Alright, so you've heard what the actual Dirty Dutch lead sounds like. Now I've tweaked it, side chained it, sort of, uh, should I say. This is what it sounds like now. <laughs> So you, you can tell the difference there, it sounds more professional, sounds more wavy, and it makes the um, the kick in the background stand out more. Um, it's hard to explain, but that's pretty much what it does. Um, so what I'm going to do, add a few sound effects to the lead. I'm going to make it stand out just a little more. I'm going to master it. Alright, then I am going to add a reverb. So it's a echoing type sound, a wet type sound, I guess. That will do. Um, what else do I need? There is um, a lot of people tend to use the EQ for the Dirty Dutch, Dirty Electro uh, music. So you know you could change all this, change it around. Um, what this does. Um, I'm not really the best at it, so I don't really use it too much, but I'm pretty sure it's, well, obviously it makes it stand out more. It's, it's hard to explain really, it's, it, it can make it a little more bassy, it can make it a little more deeper, higher, higher quality, just stuff like that. Um, I'm going to be turning green a lot off because I'm not actually going to be using that. But however, I'm going to replace it with something else, something else that I actually need to master the song. <laughs> um, oh, I don't know what I was going to use. Actually, I think it's... Uh, Maximus is one. I'm not sure if there's another one that I need. I don't think there is. So I'll just add a Maximus.
Alright, so what I have noticed... I can't actually hear the kick in the background. What the hell? Um... Okay... Try to add Maximus to this to make it stand out a little more. So I turn the volume down on the lead just a little so the kick stands out more. That is pretty much it. Um, I could do a few more sound effects and tweaking, but that is pretty much the basics of how Dirty Dutch music is made. Um, I'll show you how to change it into electro music. So, if you're wondering how electro music is made, this is the most common way how it is made. So, that sounds pretty good actually, um, uh, the one I have made a few days ago does sound a little better, uh, you can find that in the description down below the video, um, as well as a few other melodies and tracks of mine, so just look down at the description for those. Um, so that is pretty much how you make Dirty Electro and Dirty House uh, Dutch music. <laughs> um, again. There are other ways, but that is probably the most common way how to make it. Um, again, you could make it stand out a little more, master the song just a little better, but I'm just showing you the basics really. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it guys. Um, so that's pretty much, that is, this here is, uh, known as a melody or a, once again in the dirty house world a lead um, I don't think there's really much else to say or oh. well this part here this is where the magic is placed once you have made uh, parts of your song you pay you place all of the parts of the song um, on this page right here so you know it could go all the way down like 
an hour down. <laughs> so it can go a long way down. Um, so that it so this page is what makes the songs. You place your clips together and so on. <laughs> um, you know you got all these kits, instruments, sounds in here. Um, before I uh, finish off, I will show you a few kits that I do have. Uh, so far I have downloaded Soldier Boy kit, Kane West's kit, a Dirty Dutch kit which I just used. And you know you got bass sounds, uh, sound effects, flutes, uh, and yeah that's, and you know DJ deck scratching sounds and so on. Um, I am gonna buy a few more in the, in the next month, so I'll be using that for a lot of dirty, uh, dirty house music. Um, you know, any music can be made with this. Pianos, guitars, rock and roll, trance, you know, house, um, R&B, a lot of R&B is made with FL Studio. Pretty much anything, you know, dubstep, obviously, as I said earlier, uh, Skrillex used this to make dubstep. So, anything is possible, anything can be used. So, you know, that's what FL Studio is all about. So, one last time before I finish off, here is the Dirty Dutch, or Dirty Electro now, lead. <laughs> See you later, guys.